Welcome to my Floss Tube. It's episode 41. Uh, it is Monday, the 6th of September. I'm Linda. I'm a Swedish crazy cross stitcher. <laughs> Welcome. Um, if you're new, uh, don't forget uh, to, to subscribe and hit the bell. Give me a thumbs up um, if you like what you see. And to everyone who's returning, thank you very much. Uh, it is appreciated. I love all the comments and all the messages I get. So, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to Martina, who bought me a uh, coffee, and that is very much appreciated. And for everyone who buys me uh, a cup of coffee or a few of them, all that money goes straight back into the uh, channel. And I mainly use it for my Mirabilia collection. And I share with that. Uh, I share that with you on the channel, um, and it's ju it's just very appreciated uh, that you guys uh, believe in me and like what you see. Uh, and of course, it's not um, what you call it. You don't have to buy me any coffee. Absolutely not. Uh, watch my videos. Watch the ads. Subscribe. That's, uh, you know, plenty of support and give me some comments because I love them. Um, and I also got a stitchy kindness. Um, it was a very nice surprise. Heaven and Earth Designs had just had a Labor Day sale where they had 30% off and Kylie over at Instagram, she asked me if I got any uh, patterns and I said, no, uh, I have bought a lot of other uh, things, uh, new patterns and kits and everything. <laughs> so I said, no, I will have to wait for the next sale. And when I got home from work and checked my email, there was a heaven and earth pattern from Kylie and she had picked it up from my from my wish list. So here's the picture of the sweet Randall Spangler dragon. Um, the pattern is called Midnight Stories, and it's so cute. The dragon looks so innocent um, reading that book, and we all know that reading is a fantastic thing. It opens a world you cannot find anywhere else. So Kylie, thank you very much. It was very sweet of you. And I hope I can start the pattern in the future, in the near future. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I think that pattern is available as a supersized I think so. And I think it's huge. <laughs> um, talking about reading and how that gives us um, a new world where I truly believe you can't find it anywhere else. Um, please head over to Chris Cross Stitch. Um, I think most of you guys have heard about Chris. Uh, he's having a, he's donating money for each comment he gets, I think for all the comments through the whole year of 2021. And he's uh, collecting the, the, the money in a, um, jar which he calls Ted's jar which is from one of his viewers very lovely story about her father and at the end of this year that money will be donated 
to um, now I don't remember the name uh, of that um, place, but they're they're helping children with books, uh, children who can't afford, um, or you know, families who can't afford buying books for their children. I think is a great thing that he's doing. So please head over to get the whole story and where you can find the link to make a, dono a donation plus. You just love Chris. You have to go check him out. Um, <clears throat> so let's start, start <laughs> talking about whips. Um, so I have stitched on four things till the past two weeks. Um, I was supposed to stitch on my focus piece, you know, soft as steel from heaven and earth. Uh, I haven't done that. I, I think I have like a thousand stitches left to reach the 21,000 stitches and I haven't stitched on it, but, um, getting back to work, you know, uh, you don't have that much time after work. So I have to, you know, get into get in the groove. So I haven't stitched on that, but I have stitched on four pieces. So I went a little bit with stitch, whatever I want. And I know Kat, I get, she said it, you know, stitch what you want, whenever you want. I don't know. I need to check that out. Anyway, what did I start with? Oh my God, that was not good. I started stitching on my Amazing Animal Kingdom from Heaven and Earth. Uh, the designer is, the artist is Amy Stewart. And me and Kat from Cat Talks, we're hosting the stitch along for this piece where we use hashtags on Instagram. Um, so anyone who's stitching the Amazing Animal Kingdom in any size, can use the hashtags and if you can't find them here if I'm like too lazy to do all the editing today you will find the hashtags in the description box below and my dear friend Kat made this lovely project bag for me And I just love it. And it is perfect for my project. It's perfect for my 11 by 11 Q-snap. And you know, all my organized stuff, it's, it's perfect. And I'm not gonna put in a picture. I'm just gonna show it here. This is the Amazing Animal Kingdom. And I'm stitching it super sized with max colors. And I started down here in the bottom right corner I didn't stitch too much and I actually think I forgot to write down how many stitches I've stitched. So I don't think I have the info about that. So, but I stitched this part here, so I didn't stitch too much. Um, but the colors in that is uh, yummy. Um, I think I stitched. I don't. As I said, I don't know how many stitches. Max two thousand. Um, but I stitched on it for four days. Four days. And head over to Kat's channel, Floss Tube, and she has gr made great progress on her animal kingdom. So this is stitched on 25 count. I'm using one strand of DMC, uh, stitching one over one, and I'm doing a full cross. And well, I am using my mixed um, stitching of cross country and parking. So that's that. And 
the hashtags are uh, hashtag for a cell or the hashtag ambitious amazing animal adventure I will have to put this down um, it's a struggle let's leave it um, and talking about stitch alongs and cells Kylie the lovely lady who gifted me the heaven and earth chart is starting a stitch along with Adrian Bordet Adrian Bordet art and she's using the hashtag not bored at this with his name mixed into it very nice hashtag I like that one and anyone can join and but the thing is you have to stitch one of his pieces and you will find his art over at the um, unconventional cross stitch uh, site and they have just released a Alice in Wonderland I'm just waiting for it with I haven't bought it because they they wrote me an email saying that they're releasing it as a huge pattern so I'm waiting for that but I made a new start and this is the one I'm joining on my in on that cell um, this is the beauty who will save the world I started in the middle so this is her top lip lip and this is the beginning of her nose and I'm strictly parking this um, I'm stitching a grid 10 by 10 and I'm, I'm going in a spiral so I started in the middle I went down up around so I'm start I'm showing you the wrong way so I will stitch here and then down and around and I will just stitch like that and it's perfect and you guys that detail in those lips wow and if you had head over to Instagram um, and if you're following Kylie or at least when you're going to use the hashtag search for the hash hashtag and you will see her progress she's stitching the eye oh my god it's amazing so I will show you the beauty will save the world this is how she is looking and I started you know I've stitched here she is so beautiful I fell in love with her the moment I I saw her I'm sorry about the ring light it is so beautiful and I got a comment from the artist too um, saying that he thought it was cool that I'm stitching this and he was curious because he didn't know anything about cross stitching and he asked how long it would take to stitch and I told him well if I only work on this and nothing else I think I could make it in one and a half years and his reply was well all of a sudden I think painting is so much easier <laughs> so it was very sweet of him to comment um, and I was totally starstruck you know <laughs> but very beautiful so I'm looking forward to getting back to this and because of the cell and because of my animal kingdom cell I need I want to focus more on those pieces but I have some goals I want to reach before the end of the year anyway I'm stitching it on 25 count one over one full cross but so just parking no traveling anywhere just parking and I stitched on that for three days maybe let me check um, let's see one two three days three days 
and on the third day oh my god I totally forgot how can I forget on the 29th of August I reached 2,000 subscribers 2,000 subscribers thank you you guys amazing amazing I'm just I'm blown away really so yes we need to celebrate that in some way um, I usually give away heaven and earth patterns because I know where are a lot of people out there who love it and it's easy because you know you can just transfer the PDF you buy from the heaven and earth um, so I'm thinking about that um, but I do also stitch other uh, from other full coverage pieces of course uh, like pain free crafts um, you have Gecko Rouge you have the unconventional cross stitch so there are other you know Tilton I, I'm not stitching Tilton but I do have some patterns from them so I will think about this um, and we will celebrate in one way or another but I'm leaning towards like two heaven and earth designs to give away um, so yay thank you guys for subscribing I mean thank you for the support you're you're amazing I love this community I just yeah all of you make me so happy well not all of you there is always someone who brings you down you know but let's not talk about those people so after that when I I was like nah I don't want to stitch on my beauty anymore I want to stitch on my Mirabilia because I want to finish her so I stitched on my Mirabilia for how long I stitched on her one two three three days three days and I'm going to remove my pattern because we're not allowed to show them and this is how she's looking I stitched her arms her arm and hand so I've reached to over here I don't know if you can see that and then I started with she, I think she's like holding flowers in her hand yeah yes 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 and I'm stitching one over one full cross you know the skin is one over one yeah and I had got silk threads to stitch her skin I watched Luda so I wanted to do that conversion but when I looked at like the numbers she had converted to and my numbers on this Mirabilia I didn't I didn't uh, you know it just I was like no this cannot be correct so I don't know I just found some DMC in my stash and just went with the DMC because that's you know very nice so now I have a lot of silk threads and I need to you know get the courage to convert some of the Mirabilia skins but this is her so I thought I was going to get a little bit further but then September came but before we talk about September this is stitched on 28 count even weave it's a hand dyed fabric from crafty kitten before before uh, she got a little bit of trouble um, it's very it's a very nice fabric it's soft and nice and perfect 
I would, however, rather stitch it on a 32 count because there is a lot of stitching in this. There is no chronic, very few beads. So this would be, would have been better on 32 count. And I think my next how I do video I will make will be how I choose my fabric for my mirabilis because I know there was a lady a while ago who asked how I do that. So I think that's my next short video on how I do stuff. And talking about that, please um, leave me a comment down below about stuff you would like to know how I do. I'm not saying it's the correct thing. It's just how I do it. Like uh, my last video, I showed a short clip on how I start with a loop when I stitch with one thread and how I end with a pin stitch with one thread on 25 count. So um, just leave a comment and I will hopefully get some ideas to make some of those short ones. Um, I'm running through this. Uh, so September and we all know, not all, not all of us know, but I think a lot of you know, if you're watching floss tube, they're calling September sampler September. And first I was like, yeah, sampler. I tried that, done that. I don't know, but I was like, well, maybe I should pull out my Anne Morrison for Sampler September and my Jane Hearth. And the thing is, I'm enjoying it and I've got a little bit of progress on Anne Morrison. You know, it's a huge stitch along during this year. You have to be finished before the 1st of December, I think, or 3rd December, if you want to be in the draw of the real sampler not this sampler it's another sampler yeah um and it was a release for just traditional stitches i think they said they printed about three thousand of these patterns and it's a very lovely pattern i love the colors so let's take a look on my progress It's not ironed. I usually don't iron. So don't ask me to iron stuff because I won't. <laughs> not until they're finished. So, oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. And I don't know, I don't have a clipboard. I should have some board behind. So I was somewhere around here the last time you saw it. So these last few days, I have finished the alphabet, which was the goal for September. I finished that. I finished the border and then I've started down here. And at the moment I'm like, I call it because another lady on the Facebook group call it tandem stitching. Um, can you focus there? Yeah, nice. I hope so. Every second one is um, yellow, every second red. So I'm working with that. Uh, so I'm very, very pleased. And it was nice to get back to just normal cross stitching as well. But there, I think, yeah, I think I'm like halfway, L little bit more than halfway. So I'm over here stitching and now I really want to finish all of this up here. Um, and s somehow I'm also thinking I just want to finish the sampler right away, but we'll see because there's a lot of stitching in the birds and the trees here. So that's what I've been working on. So that was all my whips and I forgot to tell you my sampler is stitched on 46 count and I'm using the the soy one soy 100 
and three. The one hundred and three. Alvera soi. No, soy one hundred and three. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using soy one hundred and three. And it is a challenge. Um, it's a small count. No, it's a high count. It's a small weave. So it is a challenge. Um, my eyes get tired easy. And if you make a mistake, you're like, Ugh, you know, fr frogging on that count is, it's a challenge, but I like it. And it's turning out beautiful. So that was that. Um, where did I put my book here? What is next? Jesus, that was something happened. Um, what should we talk about next? My plans. How does my plans look like? Well, it is time to get a little bit serious. Um, we're coming out to 9-11. And we know, all know what happened that day. I'm working on Saturday, the 9-11th. So I'm not have, I don't have that many hours that day. And also this week, the week where 9-11 is, is also the beginning of the trial for um, people in the terror attack in Paris. I think that was seven years ago. I made up my mind that I will not just stitch on 9-11 to remember what happened. Um, I will stitch the whole week on my piece for remembering 9-11. And I think that represents also all the attacks that has happened to all of us all over the world. And um, first I was saying I wanted to do Fall in Central Park by Kincaid. It's the mini version, it's a heaven and earth. I will link a picture up here if I remember uh, but then I changed my mind. I have Lady of the Flag, which I wanted so badly because of what it represents. And it's important to me. I'm not an American, but it's difficult to explain. It's just very important to me. So I kitted it up. And... I also said I will never do two Mirabilias at once, but I am going to do it. I'm not going to keep on stitching on her. I'm not planning on it, but I will stitch on her this week and then I will put her aside. So I don't have the Lady of the Flag here. I have her in my other room, uh, but I will show you. So it's a little bit of haul talk, but I have some DMC floss. I have some DM, more DMC floss from my stash. I got all the, the beads and all the Krennic. And the question was, which fabric should I stitch her on? And I chose 32 count linen and it's the black chalk. I think I wanted something dark so that her, um, the light she's holding and her crown and her dress would pop. Um, so that's why, and I wanted the dark also representing all the loss, you know. Um, I think I will be having trouble with that not the flag, but the, the flagpole, because it's this color. So I might do some uh, backstitching with some uh, shiny thread 
we'll see. I won't be even getting there now, but so I'm stitching Lady of the Flag this week. That's the plan. And then Sampler September continues. So I will continue with my Anne Morrison. And if I finish her or yeah, if I finish her or if I want another sampler, I have my Jane Hearth. It's one of Hands Across the Sea's little gems. And I think you've seen this before, but I've finished the whole border and I'm in the middle with the flower here. And there's no specialty stitches in this piece. It's just um, cross stitching, you know, crosses. And this was on, I think it is 40 count. I'm, I'm a little bit uncertain, but I think it's, it's 40 count. I think so. Uh, so then I will continue on this one. Now, <clears throat> if I get bored of any of the samplers, you know, straining for the eyes, I will stitch on either my Amazing Animal Kingdom, continue with that, or my beauty who will save the world or I will stitch on my um, Once Upon a Fairy Tale because I have a goal. I want to finish this part this year. So and after that I'm like okay to put it aside and give all my other heaven and earth some love you know. It's hard to choose. <laughs> it's very hard to choose. Uh, so that's the plans. I'm going through it a little bit fast, but it's very nice. I have been stitching the full coverage piece and it's like home, you know, it's a real therapy. I don't have to think that much when I do those. And it's, it's, it's easy for me. It's easy. I'm not saying it has to be easy for anyone. And I understand that it can be difficult for people too. Uh, but for me, I'm used to stitching that. So that's like home safety, you know, for me. Uh, but lately I have been feeling like stitching the sampler, stitching my mirror, my shadow lane. And I will show you a little bit more. I just, you know, discovered Plum Street samplers. I'm just eager to get started on them. The expo, you know, hmm, <laughs> there's a lot of nice things there. So. I have some other different things coming. Um, so, so that's that. And talking about that, you guys, you have seen, um, I did my whip parade. I did my PDF pattern parade. You have seen my mirror bilia parade. And now I was wondering, I have like a whole box one of these big boxes with kits on other stuff, dimensions, Lanarte, I think it's called, or Maya, uh, the Plum Street, Bella Filipina. I have different things kitted up and I have just patterns. So I wonder, would you like to see one of those, you know, kit pattern parades, all the other stuffs I have? So, Please let me know if you would like to see one of those videos and I can record that a day when I'm off work. Um, so let's do a little bit of haul then. Um, I got this Mirabilia. Uh, it is Miss Cherry Blossom, the MD-153. And I already have the embellishment pack and she is so very pretty very pretty and Rachel Ray has started it um, and it looks very nice so I needed to get that one and I need to get all the mermaids first of all my Mirabilia mermaids I got this lady and this is Mermaid Undyne 
Undine, Undine, Undine. Let's say Undine. And I got the embellishment back. Look at all the beads. Oh, I love bugle beads. They're so nice. Oh, and silver beads. And there's all many goodies. I don't like her too much on the picture, but I have seen this stitched and it's amazing. It's so beautiful. So this is nice. And then I have one of the little sheep virtues and I want them all, but I didn't want to get them all at once. So I've ordered two, but they're on back order from Casa Senina, the Italian shop I use. Um, but I got the, the buttons, buttons, you know, the little things. So there's two birds there and two, two flowers. Oh, I'm horrible at this. Can you see the birds? And it's for, uh, courage and kindness and then i saw a lady on youtube who had stitched all the sheep virtues on the same fabric and in the min middle in the center she there you need another um design from silver creek maybe i need to order that and you can get all of them in one piece so i'm mm, i want to do that and there was some borders and stuff um so i asked her if she would like to share and she did now <clears throat> plum streets Amplers. i like i love them all i love them all this is the hedgerow it's the latest in the rack series and i love the rack series it's so fun it's so so fun and who doesn't love hedgehogs you know they're so sweet and then i like this one very very much it's the cereal bowl collection there's different lessons but this is lesson four and I like this one very much. It says, be you to others kind and true as you would have others be to you. I think it's very nice. And they look so small. The, the lesson four is just 83 by 81. It's so small. And this is like 60 by 90. I mean, you should be able to do that in just a few days. Very nice. I just love how they press, you know, the, the percent, the stuff percent, how they show them off, you know. And then I found this. It's an out of print Mirabilia. It's the Rose of Sharon. I found it pretty cheap, so I couldn't help myself. Um never open so I think this was maybe an Italian lady or something yeah on eBay sometimes you're lucky <sighs> yeah what's in that last and I have been eyeing this the Quaker pumpkins from hello from Miss Liz Matthews and I think this was released last year on Expo, I think. I'm not sure, but I think so. Is there a year? 2020. Yeah, so last year. And I saw this. And it's so nice. It's so pretty. And I've been eyeing it and eyeing it. And first, first I think I couldn't get this unless I ordered it from the United States. And I was like, no. Yeah, well, you know, we all know it's expensive to ship, ship and all the taxes and stuff. And then I found it this year in the Italian store. So I, and when I decide now I'm going to get it, it was out of 
stock. So I made a, you know, um, what do you call that in English? When you send, you know, your email and ask them to give you a notice when it's back in stock. And I got it and it uh, said there was one. <laughs> so I, you have to be fast with the fingers. <laughs> I got it right away. So I don't know when I will start it. I will start it. It's a Halloween piece. I love Halloween stitching and I need more of it. Um, but it's very nice. I'm very happy to have it. And something else I got from eBay. I was thinking as a cross stitcher, I need to get a Teresa Wensler. I have been thinking about that for a very long time. I have been looking at her stuff for a very long time. And then I found this kit. And it is the Storyteller. It's also out of print because, as I understand, because of her beliefs and stuff, she doesn't do the dragons anymore. Um, and I know it's a glare and all, but there's a very cute dragon. And I think maybe he's the Storyteller. Yeah. And it's a full kit with the pattern and everything. It's unbroken. So the beads, everything is in here. So I was very happy about that. I don't dare to open it. <laughs> so I will open it when it's time to start it. And I will start it the day when I spin a wheel and the wheel would choose. Now it's the time. Uh, what I'm a little bit worried about is the pattern because I read somewhere, I don't know if it's this pattern, but some pattern within a kit like this was a horrible copy. So they needed to get like the pattern booklet or something to be able to read the pattern. So I'm a little bit worried that this might be the Okay, so I should open it because if I need to get the pattern, I will have to go check eBay for that. So, but I'm very happy about this. Very nice. I'm very, I mean, this is just threads. It makes two threads of strands. The blend, it's blends, you know. Oh my God, it's going to be so fun going to be so fun. So that's the, all the haul I'm going to show you today. Yes. I love my, I love my cross stitching. I mean, <laughs> I feel sorry for everyone who doesn't cross stitch. Um, plans, hauls. Hmm, yes. No, we'll wait for the giveaway. Um, I was fast today. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sure I have forgotten something. Um, I've been watching a lot of uh, floss tubes out there, um, but I should start writing it down so I can do the shout outs. Um, but I will leave it at that today. So if you want to support my channel and buy me a coffee, everything goes straight back into, especially me, my Mirabilia stash. I'm trying stash. I'm trying to collect them all. I'm on a good way to get there. Um, you will find a link below. It's not necessary. Watch my videos, watch, you know, the ads. If there is an ad, go do something else or check your phone or whatever, you know. Um, leave me comments, write me an email, contact me over at Instagram, show, you, show me your pictures, what you're stitching on. I want to know. I love to watch and hear about it. Um, if you don't have anything nice to say, you know, if you only have, you know, bad things to say, you can keep it to yourself. <laughs> now, let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a nice day. Bye.